Hi everybody, welcome back to my tax support channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to convert a CSV file into a JSON file. For example, you have one source file, which is there in the CSV format, but when you want to send that file to the target system, you want to convert into the JSON. Let's look at how we can do this conversion in Oracle integration. So guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Now let's get started. So here let's consider we have a CSV file into this particular format wherein we have few columns like first name, last name, department, qualification and age, and then we have some data. Let's consider this is a CSV file which is there on my source as FTP. And I want to convert that CSV into the JSON format and we'll put it to a different other SFTP or we can pass that JSON data to the other application. So let's look at how we can do this conversion in Oracle integration with the help of Oracle Cloud, I mean Oracle integration FTP adapter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, open my Oracle integration screen. So here I am going to create an integration called scheduled orchestration and let's say convert CSV to JSON. Let's click on a create button. So there's a file. So I already have created a FTP connection. I'm going to use the same and let's say the file and click on the next button here. I'll use the read file operation and let me pick up the directory wherein I cap, wherein I cap the file, which is like slash home slash office slash blog. And the file name is employee.csv. So this is the file name and click on the next button. So here I am going to choose a CSV because I am going to read the CSV file and let me upload the file. So here this is my file which contains first name, last name, department, qualification, and age. Let me say employee and then employee, employee set, and let's say employee and click on the next button and then finish. So this will help me to read my file now. I'm going to convert the same into my JSON and we'll put it on the same FTP. So let's say write JSON. Okay. And click on the next button. I'll say write file, select a transfer mode. And again, I'll use the same location slash home slash OPC slash block. And let's say employee dot json file that is what i'm going to create and you have to keep one thing in mind when you are creating dot json file you cannot use this append to existing file that will corrupt your file if you use this append to existing file right so click on the next button and here is the thing you need to choose the sample json document right so that will help us to convert the file into the json now i am going to choose the sample json file in which i want to convert that file let me choose Okay, I have selected my sample JSON file and then done. finish. That's it. And let's do the mapping here. So mapping is very simple. What I am going to do, I am going to simply uh, use this read file response here and then we'll expand this employee employee set. And here under EMP, I'm going to map this employee set to Oh, oh, employee set to EMP and simply say first name to first name, last name to last name, department to department, qualification to qualification and age to age. That's it what we need to do. So the file which will be placed on the FTP will be kind of a JSON file. Let me activate this integration now after enabling this tracking parameter and activate and then run this integration. Let me close this first of all, and let me say activate this integration, include payload, and then activate. Now the integration has been activated. Let me refresh it. Let, let's refresh it till the time it shows as an active state. Let me keep 
refreshing now that's fine let me submit this integration and then submit now okay the integration has been submitted let me just go to this tracking id let's wait and let this to be completed successfully and then we'll show you now the integration has been succeeded let me go back to my sftp location and will refresh this screen and there you see the emp.json file has been created let me just open that file and will show you that the file the data should be there in the json structure itself so here you see the data is there in my json so like first name last name department age and then qualification so guys this is how you can convert uh, convert the CSV data into the JSON. So guys, if you like this video, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. That's all guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.